what, what other people have you met in, during your, your long lifetime that have, that have impressed you as being really original thinkers and major contributors in, in well, unique uh, ways? Well, on, as far as uh, I have met many of the people in the, in the space movement, and uh, I'm sorry to see that uh, John Pierce died recently in the Telstar and Echo. Mm -hmm. and he was a good friend and uh, Bell Labs, you know, and yeah. um, uh, I've met a good many people in the in the film business. So, and, and uh, this but of course, since I've been in Salon, I haven't, well, as it was then, I still think of it as Salon rather than Sri Lanka. I, I don't meet quite so many people, but the most I think the really the most memorable people I ever met, Olaf Stapledon, who in Last and First Men made a colossal influence on me in the 1930s when it came out. Um, JBS Haldane, who um, I met here, the biologist, and um, of course uh, Werner von Braun. Uh, you know, but uh, as soon as, uh, yes, and of course the uh, astronauts, Neil Armstrong. Buzz Aldrin, who was here recently, and um, it's, you know, I guess it's quite a list. <laughs> I don't bore you with any more names. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. Uh, in, uh, in many years ago, I think the, your film 2001 received an Oscar, maybe more than one. I'm not a film uh, buff. Uh, are there other other plans uh, for for you to film any of your other books? Uh, well, what's um, happening? actually, uh, 2001 received quite a number of nominations, uh, but it only got I think one. Uh, a, sc a screenplay award, I'm not sure that. Uh, the main awards went to Mel Brooks, the producers that year. Uh, did you ever see the pr producers? I think so. It was a very funny film, but I don't think it's been quite as well remembered as 2001. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was in a Hollywood restaurant a few years ago, and there was Mel, so I wanted to, Mel, you stole my Oscar, you see. And he, <laughs> said, he said, you're a genius, so I was instantly mollified. <laughs> Well, I can't help but notice that the Oscar is, in fact, yeah, sitting well, behind us. I don't know if the camera didn't get Oscar. up. You well, asked we, me if we won't talk about that. Yeah, um, <laughs> you asked me if I, I have three projects being, I hope being filmed. Um, Rendezvous with Rama, Morgan Freeman is shortly going to production on that. Um, the Founders of Paradise, which is based here in Sri Lanka, the first uh, specifically Sigiriya, the rock fortress. Uh, I hope that'll be filmed. And um, Childhood's End at the moment, there's some interest in that uh. too. And um, also Industrial Light and Magic is interested in doing some of my short stories. And, uh, so I have quite a few projects and I only hope they don't all happen at the same time. <laughs> right. Your, yeah. your library behind us, which as far as I can tell is almost exclusively your books. Oh, these are all is, my is, books, is yes. Quite, is quite I impressive. don't have them all, of course. Okay. I at least have one copy in English of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly have no, no actually there's several times in England at Dean Court, the archives have a wall full of my books. And all that. Quite impressive, I must mm -hmm. say. Yes. Arthur, 2001 A Space Odyssey is probably your most widely known work. Um, it's now many years since the film was made. We know a lot more about space. Uh, we know an awful lot more about how to make space-related movies. If you were doing it over again today, how would it be different? I've often thought about this, and in fact, there are practically no changes that we would have made. Um, it uh, stands up remarkably well. Recently, the critics, film critics, this is one of the best, in the best 10 films of all time. And of course, I'm very proud of that, and only sorry that Stanley isn't here to um, appreciate that. Okay. People have often speculated that Hal was really, uh, all, really IBM, one letter displaced in each case. Would you care to deny it in front of this crowd? <laughs> I've been trying for years <laughs> to stamp out that rumor. <laughs> it's specifically stated in the book that Hal stands for heuristic algorithmic computer. So just purely, qui uh, purely coincidence. In fact, if we had noticed that, uh, we'd probably have changed it. <laughs> I don't know who <laughs> spotted that first, but it, it's, it's a pure uh, tw 26 times uh, 3 coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we passed, a few years ago, we passed the official birth date of Hal. Did you have any celebration here after the date? Oh, yes. Actually, uh, there were two dates, if I remember. Because yeah. the movie and the book had different dates. There, there were two, two dates. dates. And in fact, I had a live link to, to uh, MIT. 
you know, satellite link and buy, you know, and uh, some of the people there, you know, were uh, at the other end. And it's any moon watcher was here recently, you know, throws that famous bone up. Mm -hmm. And I got a photograph of him standing in front of the TV with his, him in his ape suit, and then in real life, in, uh, in, um, Dan Richter, really sweet guy, he's in, I think he's in, into computers now in, in Los Angeles, so, you know, from, from man-ape to computer executive in one, in one lifetime. You know, of all the things I've done, I guess that's what I'm proud of. Uh, people say, what about the communication satellite? Well, if I hadn't written that paper in 1945, 10 people, including my friend John, late friend John Pierce, would have done it within the next, you know, so what, it was such an obvious idea. I've suddenly been asked, you know, I saw you didn't patent it. I don't <laughs> think it was patentable. <laughs> patent lawyer has, has uh, written up a piece about that. And I've written it up too in my essay, uh, uh, A Brief History of Comsats, or How I Lost a Billion Dollars in My Spare Time. <laughs> um, the other thing I'm proud of too, of course, is um, the exploration of space, which came out exactly 50 years ago, 50 years ago this year. And I only recently discovered that uh, Werner von Braun used that book to persuade Kennedy to go to the moon. No, again, that would, might have happened anyway, but I'm certainly rather proud of that input. That's not a bad accomplishment to list on your CV. No. Going back to the 1945 paper, and I understand you were a physicist at that time. Oh, I no, I've never, been, I've never been a real I've scientist. I was a radar engineer uh, in the Royal Air Force. Uh -huh. but I hadn't even been to university. I didn't go to university until after the war. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you wrote the paper without a university degree. I was... Uh, <laughs> A civil servant in the Exchequer and Audit Department. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was a government auditor. But most of my uh, 10 to 5 time was spent reading or writing science fiction. I can admit yeah, that now. <laughs>